Version 15.2 contains many enhancements to formal reviews to provide added clarity to the review process. Filter the reviews in the review window by status. Fine grain approval on review topics. Send approval reminders to appointed approvers. And lock a review based on element status. Here we can see a review and the resulting child diagram. By dragging and linking elements relevant to the review onto the diagram, they are incorporated into the review. This review relates to an airport's appointment of a biometric scanning partner. To view the discussion in a review, open the review from the Start ribbon. We can now see the Review tab in the Collaborate window. When we click on Elements in the review, we can see that a review topic has been created, asking if the turnaround on the scans are fast enough to trial them on an operational test environment. What we're going to do now is appoint an approver for the review, someone whose approval it is necessary to have before proceeding. To create an approver, from the context menu, we select Create Approver and then the approver's name. Now if we open the Manage Review window, we'll see a list of model reviews in the model, along with the details like the appointed approver of each review. In version 15.2, we can filter the information contained in the review window. Right-click and select Toggle Filter Bar. Now we can filter by search term. In version 15.2, we can send reminders to approvers that there is a review waiting for their approval. Right-click on the approver and select Send Approval Reminder. This then creates a pre-formatted model mail containing a link to the relevant review element. Now we'll look at the review as an approver. We are now signed in as approver Liam Bradford. If we look at his model mail, we'll see he has received the approval reminder we sent earlier. From here he can open the review diagram. From the Review tab, he can view the review topics under the discussion and their status. Now that he knows that the scanning system is ready to test in an operational environment, he can sign off on the review. He can do that by right-clicking on his name in the review and selecting Status Approved. Now to prevent any further changes being made to the review, it's possible to set locks based on an element's status. Right-click on the review and select Review Status Locks. From here we can lock reviews on elements that have a status of approved or implemented. Now if we log in as Tamsin Green, we can see that the review is approved. The element status has been changed to approved, and if we were to try to begin a new discussion topic, we'll see that the review is now locked against further changes of this kind. For more information about this or other aspects of this release, visit sparksystems.com forward slash EA152.